We're told the equation above models the number of subscribers S of an online styling service Q quarter years after the service launches. Based on the model, which of the following statements is true? And let's see, they have a bunch of statements on how much the subscribers increase by either each quarter or each year. And these first two, they're talking about increasing by a fixed amount each quarter or year. And here it's a percentage each quarter or year. So let's look at this expression. And the immediate thing that probably jumps out at you is that we have an exponent here. This is an exponential expression. And so let's actually just make a little table here to think about how does s grow with q. And what I'm going to do, so this is q, q, and this is s. And I'm going to pick some q values that will make the math a little bit simple, because we notice that the exponent here is q over 4. So let's say what happens at when q is equal to 0, because 0 over 4 is pretty easy to calculate. It's not going to be a fraction. Let's say when we 4 quarters have gone by, because 4 over 4 is pretty easy, and maybe when 8 quarters have gone by, which is the same thing as 2 years. So when q is equal to 0, this is going to be 1.06 to the 0th power, which is just 1. So we have 1,000 subscribers. And so you could view it as that's the initial amount of subscribers. Then when q is equal to 4, what do we have? Well, this exponent is just going to be 4 over 4, so it's just going to be 1. So it's going to be 1,000, 1,000 times 1.06. And then when q is equal to 8, 8 divided by 4 is 2, so it's going to be 1.06 to the second power. So that's going to be 1,000. We could write it times 1.06, actually, let me just write it this way, times 1.06 to the second power. So let's think about how it's growing at least every four quarters, which is the same thing as one year. Well, it looks like we are growing, or we are multiplying by 1.06, or another way of thinking about it is, we are increasing by 6%. Once again, when we go from quarter four to quarter eight, which is another year goes by, we're multiplying by another 1.06. So that's growing by another 6%. So it looks like we're growing by 6% every four quarters or every year. And so the choice that does that, the number of subscribers increases by 6% each year, that one looks good. Now let's think about the other choices just to feel super, if we were, on a, if we were doing this on a test, we would just keep going, but just to feel really confident that it's not these other choices. The number of subscribers increases by 60 each quarter year. Well, this would be a linear equation. It would look something like that, like this. S is equal to your initial number of subscribers plus the number of quarter years times 60. It would look something like this for choice A, which clearly we don't have over here. So we can rule that out. The number of subscribers increases by 60 each year. Well, this would be something like subscribers is equal to 1,000, our initial number of subscribers, plus Q over 4 times 60. Because then every four quarters, you would increase by a year. And obviously, you could simplify this. So it would be 15 times q. But this is clearly not what is happening here. And then the number of subscribers increases by 6% each quarter year. Well, the exponential that would describe that would be our initial number of subscribers times 1.06, 1.06, not to the q over 4. That would just be to the q. So that every time we a new quarter year, or every time a quarter goes by, you would increase by 6%. But here, we clearly have q over 4. So every four quarters, we're increasing by 6%.